All of these people in my life acting berserk. I'm feeling all pissed off and hurt. I need to know if I am the jerk. Oh, am I the jerk? Oh. Uh huh. All right. Got uh, your Am I the Jerk emails here. One person want to know if they are the jerk for battling their burnout. You wouldn't say so, but how are they going to battle it? The email says, my female co-worker had just gone on maternity leave. I'm happy, but my co-worker and I are a team who have unique responsibilities in our department. We're basically partners, and all of our work projects require teamwork. Her maternity leave means that I am basically having to do all of her work, too. It's only been two weeks, and I'm already fried. I'm counting the minutes until she returns. Well, at lunch, I overheard one of our other female co-workers say that she had talked to my partner who told her that she was going to burn all of her maternity leave and then quit. I about choked on my meal. Oh. Because I am looking at six more weeks at least, and then the time it'll take to hire a new capable replacement. I'm already burnt out, and I don't know if I have at least two more months of this hell in me. I'm considering two options. One, I contact my partner to see what her plans are. And two, if she's going to quit, ask her to just do it now. Now, she would lose her maternity leave, but I would regain my sanity. I'm a guy, so I'm sure somebody's going to say that I just don't get it and that this is a rite of passage, a pregnancy. Am I the jerk if I do anything here but just suck up all this extra work? I think if it's your partner, I think you should talk and communicate. There's nothing wrong with asking somebody what their plans are in the future. Mm-hmm. She just had a whole life, you know, a life changing experience. As long as you don't come at her, come at her, you know, jerky. I don't think that's out of line to ask, is it? No, it's definitely not. And if she's working the system, but you are the only one that gets hurt in all of this, it's really not nice of her as your co-working partner like you're not hurting the company you're hurting the guy that has to do all your work right yeah i would i would definitely talk to to her okay and if she is like yeah that's what i'm going to be doing and you let her know that hey this is really putting a stress and strain on me and she's like yeah i'm sorry it's uh unintentional but i need the money and this is fully within my right to do I don't think you're going to get very far with going to her. I think maybe you should go to management and say, look, I need help. My partner here at work is on maternity leave. She's going to be out for six more weeks. Can you please hire me some temporary assistance because all of it's falling on me and I can't handle it. I'm already burnt out and we're not even two weeks in. So will you please help me? And this has nothing to do with her or how she wants to cheat the system or how she wants to quit at the end of her maternity leave. That's... This has nothing to do with that. You're in the here and now and you're struggling. It's okay to ask your boss for help. Yeah, I definitely don't stay quiet about this. We we, we are going to investigate, ask questions, talk, and figure this out. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's two people's work falling on one guy, the bosses need to help you because it's not like it's a couple of days. It's six more weeks, Mm -hmm. and you've already been doing it for two weeks. Yeah, that might be the person to really go to is to talk to your own bosses about it. Say, hey, you know, you may not realize this, but I got the work of two on one. I'm getting fried. I don't know that I can continue this up. Yeah, make it about that. Yeah. Don't make it about her and whatever mm-hmm. her dishonest plans are because it really has nothing to do with you. In the here and now, you're doing two people's work and getting paid for one and you're getting burnt out. Yep. Okay. All right, another person wanted to know, am I the jerk if I don't help my mom? Said a few months back, my mom got all drunk and made a move on my boyfriend. Oh. (laughs) And tried kissing him several times as she groped him in a very inappropriate place on his body. Oh, my word. What (laughs) the heck? Mother. Hey, what's your mom doing this weekend? (laughs) Man. This emailer says, I haven't talked to her since this happened, which was last November. She never said she was sorry, which made it even worse. And recently, she broke both of her legs in a car accident. Damn. She's okay, or at least as okay as you can be breaking both legs, but she just can't really get around. So my brother has reached out to ask if I could help to take care of her. He has to leave town for a month, and there's literally nobody else to help her. He also mentioned how my mother was asking for me. My brother says our mom is in a dark place and could really use my help. Well, I'm still mad at her. For what she did to me. 
and I don't want to help her. My boyfriend said I should forgive her and help out. What do you all think? Don't forget, she never even apologized to me. Drama, drama. I mean, this is a mess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm all about protecting your sanity bubble, and it sounds like when you let your mom back in your bubble, she creates drama. And now you're going to have to be the only person taking care of her? Can you hire a home health nurse? That's and gonna, you, you pay for that hooker to go every day and deal with your mom? I'm sure that's cheap and won't build up yeah. resentment. <laughs> right. Now I'm paying for her? I have no money to do nothing? Look, if, it, if I had the extra money and I was afraid of letting my mom back in my life, it's an alternative. Mm-hmm. I... I help my mom, but I'm still upset about what's going on, which I think it's possible you can do both. Uh, yeah. And I try to move on with this, and but I also keep my mom as it, at, at a distance after she gets healthy. Yeah. Th- but that's how I would handle it. It doesn't make it right. But I'm just saying that's what I would probably end up doing. And it does make a difference, too, if she's still heavily drinking and acting inappropriate. Like, if she's sober... And not grabbing my boyfriend's junk, I think it would make me feel better about helping her. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I think the the spiritually right thing to do is to help your mom, even though she was wrong. Yeah. And then when your mom is a little bit more clear headed and healed up, she, you need to express how she hurt you and how the apology that never came. Yeah. You need to express that and see how she reacts. And if she's not. You can say your piece. Your yeah. mom is a captive audience at this point. Exactly. Plus, you could do a whole bunch of passive aggressive things. Like, let's say mom really loves a cupcake. <laughs> you could bring her the best looking cupcake ever and just accidentally kind of set it down so it's just out of reach of mom and then walk out of the house. Yes. So she can't <laughs> hear you. So I know mom with the two broken legs has got to try to figure out how to get to that delicious cupcake. Tickle her feet with a feather. There's a whole bunch <laughs> of stuff you could do. <laughs> this could be your way to get your vengeance right here on mom. So Do, I want to look into that. Would you help your dad if it was the same situation? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. I, I would be there. I, I mean, he grabbed Kim in the no-no square. Yeah, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> he would have more than two broken legs. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be speaking at his funeral. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he might be with your mom. Dad, your last touch. <laughs> and then when you get to heaven, I know mom's going to have it out with you too, so oh, good luck. She's going to be pissed. Yeah, you, you might not want to go to heaven. <laughs> I'm just saying. It could be your own personal hell. Damn, that got real. There are some people, though, that would say, heck no, I am not helping my parent if sure. they made a move. I hear you. I, that's why I, I don't know that I would judge you for being a jerk. I think it would be a better play to help your mom, but I would understand if you decided not to. And another email here, this person wanted to know if they're the jerk for calling out some cringy PDA. Said, I had some friends over for a cookout and some cocktails over the weekend. When my friend gets tipsy, she gets real handsy with her boyfriend. But it's her boyfriend. But it makes everybody so uncomfortable. So as she kept slugging down the drinks on Saturday, she kept getting worse and worse. It all started with her just sitting on her boyfriend's lap. That's fine. But then she started referring to her boyfriend only as daddy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he was so turned on. And then she was going, daddy's just turning me on. (laughs) You know what? Daddy's going to punish me later so bad. (laughs) And I like kind of the first 20 daddies go by, but then she also started massaging her boyfriend over his jeans. Whoa. I was looking around. I could tell others were really ready for me to say something because it's my place. So I called my friend in the kitchen. I said, hey, can you either turn down the PDA a bit or just kind of take your foreplay home and get to some private place where you belong? Well, she got so offended and claimed that I was slut-shaming her. Oh, good gosh. She said that I was so sexually repressed that I needed to tear other liberated women down and that it was sad, my behavior. I told her that was not my intention, but her calling him daddy and groping him was ruining the vibe of our party. We got into a (laughs) fight, and as drunk as she was, I just said, you know what, will you just go home? Even after sobering up now, she's still mad at me. She's even told our other friends that I was bad-mouthing her boyfriend to her face. I never said one word about him. She's turning all this on me and is trying to get all of her friends on her side. She said that she needs to reconsider our relationship as she doesn't associate with judgmental jerks. Does anything I did remotely sound like I'm being a jerk? No, not at all. 
I mean, what do you care if somebody's making an ass of themselves at your party? Like, I would sit back and laugh at them and enjoy the moment of just weirdness. Like, yeah, it's cringy, but it's also funny. Have a drink and laugh at how stupid she is. Not everyone's built like us. Not everyone Mm. gets the goofy, holy crap, this person's so hammered and drunk that she's making everyone uncomfortable, repeating herself, making it all about her. You can't be that drunk act a fool and then say I'm the victim mm-hmm. sorry the the friend is the jerk and you don't need friends like that in your life all of a sudden she's gonna say you're slut shaming me we went from A to Z yeah. real quick right you can make a video of her acting all inappropriate and that could go viral we're just we're all not we're, we're, we're we're not all Vikings out there, you know? Some people will be like, this is uncomfortable. Grabbing his junk in front yeah. of people. Mm-hmm. Not everyone's into that. I mean, <laughs> do I really have to say that out loud? <laughs> not sure everybody on? believes you. What's going on out here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that you're being the jerk on that. She probably felt like as other guests are being like, are you going to let this continue on? She's feeling like she needs to be the police at her own party and tried to say something and tried to be respectful with it. So you tried to handle it right, and your friend was drunk and just did not. You have seen it before, Virginia, where someone's been annoying at a party, and all they're doing is repeating them, saying the same thing over and over again. And it does affect the mood of yeah. the party a bit. Mm-hmm. You then have to turn off the music so loud to drown out the drunk first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I, I guess most of us would say not a jerk on that. All right, well, if you've got any questions, want to know if you're a jerk or not, you can always send us an email, mail at kbjshow.com, M-A-I-L at kbjshow.com.